Okay, right, I'm going to make a cook sick up. Uh, I've made a couple before and uh, they are quite hard work, but they're good once it's done. This is a bit of uh, birch, which is uh, I've had a little chop of it, and uh, it's got some split marks along there, but hopefully it might be right in the middle. But I'm going to chop these corners off as I've marked it up. And you can see that's the actual cooks of cup itself, you can see it, which I'm going to hopefully have at the end of it. But we'll see as I go through it what the wood's like, and if it's no good then I'll have to stop and find another piece. But yeah, it's quite a long process. You can see the splits going down there, but hopefully I've gave myself enough wood materials to get something out of it. Right, that first bit of wood was no good, so we've got a second piece of wood now, which cut the ends off, flatten the top down. If you have a look on the edge, you can see the sun's in the way, but you can see that it looks pretty good. No cracks that side, no cracks that side. It's quite, quite a nice bit of wood. So what I'm going to do is mark it out and uh, see how we get on with it. Alright, here we go. I've been on this about an hour. See the mess. Sorry? So I'm doing something in the video. You can see uh, it's coming on alright. Just hoping no cracks in the come up here along here and here. Slight cracks are turning up. Obviously it's drying out. But uh, we just keep on it and see how it goes. But basically, it's quite easy. Well, it's not. But it's just, uh, just keep on it. You think like you're taking a lot out? There we go, you can see that. I just keep on it. All I'm using is this um, the more hook knife, whatever, spoon knife. Right, still at it, if you can see. It's getting there, it's quite deep now. I've got a little crack coming up there. But hopefully, there ain't going to be no more on that. There's a few cracks there, but. Hopefully we can get away with them. So I'm just going to keep digging a bit deeper and see how we get on. Right, here we are. I've cut the, uh, the basic shape of the saw. Um, I'm going to go down further still. I've still got some depth I can get out of that yet. And then when I finish with that bowl, then I'll start shaping it to the way I want it. And then uh, sand it down and leave it for a bit, see how many cracks turn up. After all this, it could be worth nothing, but you've got to try. Um, but yeah, there it is so far. So let's carry on. So this is where we're at so far. This morning I had carved out the handle and sort of a bit of the shape of it and uh, got an idea of how I wanted it and uh, from then on I've been on the linen shirt and sort of started to sand it down a bit now it's not quite there yet but we're getting there so I'm on the linen shirt just giving it a nice sand down it saves time and does a really nice job and then once I've got the basic shape, I'll go over it with the hand sandpaper and uh, finish it off. But as you see, 
That's how it's coming along. There now. I'll go over the hand sander, my hand just to finish it up. grain on it. Will it work? Who knows with a cup yet? Do we put some hot water in it? But if not, it'll be a bowl or some sort. I've done a little kayak section there for when you're drinking. It'd be easier, but the um, hole's quite nice. Gone into that wood. It's almost dry now. So definitely needed that oil. So hopefully another another one done and working. And at time wise, it's I suppose it took about four, maybe five hours. But it's not so much that it's the enjoyment of doing it and we're getting something at the end of it. 
which I, uh, so I'll do it. I could, you could buy one, but still, yeah. You know, I'd rather make one, this is the sort of thing I'd rather make than buy. I do buy plenty of gear, but a set of things I like to make myself. There we go. Hope you uh, enjoyed it, watching this video, and uh, hopefully you see me using it next time. Bye. Okay, the cooks are cut. It's all finished. And I've used it a couple of times just to make sure that it's not leaking. And here we are. Put a little hole in there for a lanyard, so I'm going to get a bit of leather to put through there. But overall, it's come up okay. So I've done a couple of them in the past, some worked, some not to work, so, you know, it's a, there is a small little crack there, if you can see it. But I've put silicon over that, and that's holding fine now. It's a tiny little crack there, but I knew that from the beginning, so. But I've put silicon on it, and that should hold it. But no, it's a, it's a pleasure to make one of these cooks of cups. The cost of buying one is ridiculous. Obviously, if they're made handmade, they're going to be expensive. So, making one yourself, I always enjoy. It's like spoons. I love making the spoons. Because it don't take long. You just sit there and you just carve at your, in your own time, in your own pace. And when you're finished, you've got something, you know, you can be proud of. So, uh, I'm going to make a hot drink in this, so uh, let's uh, see how we get on. I've got my match fishing bag, and I think I'm going to use the end kelp. Even fire stills. I found a bit of antler and made a fire still, but literally took no time at all. A lot cheaper than going and buying a fire still with antler on it. A lot more, a lot cheaper. I haven't used much of my plate spirits for that. Let's pour our coffee. cap on the M kettle and what will stay warm in there because it's got a neoprene sleeve around it as well. And there we go.
There we go. Anyone considering making a cook's a cup. Certain things you should look out for. This one was made with birch and it was, to be honest, a really good bit of wood to use. Uh, but make sure it's seasoned. Uh, I've made that mistake before and it's split all over the place. So make sure it's seasoned. When you cut your piece of wood, you want to split it, then the, the length of the piece of wood should be greater than the actual cut size so that you've got a couple inches gap by either side. So when you are actually carving the hole out, the, the bowl out, you, you can see if any splits are coming out around the outside and then cut it off when you're sure because you've always got that bit of movement. So I always make sure that it's slightly larger maybe an inch either side or longer, whatever. Plus it's easier to hold when you carving out the bowl. Uh, then let it sit for a day, see how it goes, see any more cracks appear because when you cut it, it may look fine, but then within hours, days, little cracks will appear. Um, so it's worth um, leaving it for a day, see how it settles. Um, apart from that, I've carved that bowl out in a couple of hours. Um, a lot of sanding. I had the linen shower which helped me shape it a little bit better, save me a bit of time. But the most hardest part is carving the bowl out. Once you've carved the bowl out, the rest of it is quite easy. And then I oiled it, and that's about as far as I've, I've done with it. Uh, used it a couple of times, making sure it's not leaking because it can pour through the, uh, the actual wood. But no. So I hope this has uh, been a bit of help and. Uh, I hope you might inspire you to do one yourself. I'll see you in the next one.